Hey, it's Justice. Police, open up. Search warrant. <laughs> yes. Oh my. <laughs>here with you today I have a super fantastic episode for you if you've watched prior episodes you've probably seen a very popular one at Motu Joe's house and Motu Joe has a stunning he-man collection hence Motu masters of the universe now we're gonna do a part two because he's gotten so many new uh, awesome pieces of merchandise in the last year and a half we're gonna talk about some of them granted we can't talk about every single one of them or we would be here for 30 days um so without further ado put your hands together give a warm welcome for motu joe Yay! Yay! here he is What's up? how you doing here good good thanks for having we're gonna you. we're gonna have all sorts of just discussions, talking about the different toys, go into another room, you haven't seen this room before, with uh, some high statues and super rare things, but uh, yeah, it's been about a year and a half since the last video, um, I'm sure you've gotten some new things. Yeah, I'm running, I'm running out of space, unfortunately. <laughs> yes. It's, getting, it's becoming a little bit problematic. Um, <laughs> it's closing in, it's like an episode of Hoarders where, oh my god, a pile of it, Motu! It, to see because they're looking in the background going justice show me this show me this show me this so we're gonna start showing you we're gonna try to not be uh add ooh shiny look at this but that's probably impossible yeah um so joe if you start seeing things point it out talk about it discuss it okay. but i just want to kind of start at the top and start showing people what we have here we've got some soakies so this is the whole gumball line those oh are the gumball machine, yes! Right? Not the uh, not. There's another version of them, the the Duncans. They're different. That's the that's the actual gumball machine line. Yep. That's newer from the last video. I finally got the He-Man one. And by the last video, you mean your personal page, Motu Joe? No, Make sure I mean, to... I'm sorry. The Justice video. Oh, okay. You did about a year yes, ago. Yes, before, yes, so, yes. Gotcha. So, yep. Um, Tuscador, I think, is new oh, since then. I love and I'm that not, figure. I wasn't into NA then, and I still have some reservations, but my compulsiveness has gotten out of control to where I've started buying the mock. So I have a bunch of those new on card. And, and you're using some jargon, some some industry jargon. So when he says NA, that's New, new adventures, adventures. Sorry, New Adventures of He-Man, uh, which that's that's this. That's this the, logo. The ill-fated. 
fans are divided on how they, uh... This is why. He has hair. <laughs> Skeletor has hair. He has a mullet. What? He has hair. And you mentioned the, uh, Mox. Mox. M-O-C. Which was M-O-C, which is just their mint, mint card. Mint card, which... which is what I just held up. And... And oh, here's please. some vintage. All right, we're getting ahead of it. We're yes. gonna, I'm just gonna be That's like, okay. oh, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. So, I love it. all right, so those are the two packs. We talked about those in your last video. Yep. Really, really cool. They are open, so truth, truth revealed. Them. Yes. Um, okay, you know, like, this wasn't hanging here. The no. tower, the UK exclusive. Um, There's three of them, like Tower Tool, Scuba Attack, and yes. what's the third one that one bridge. is uh that cliff one's climbers tools. Yep, oh yeah, yeah tower tools. cliff climbers this does work i don't think the battery is in it though i think i took it out i've really. never seen it function before yeah i took the battery out oh okay, but it does work right. it just beep, 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 spins got some really uh the deluxe that. the larger mocks back there pick, the twist toy pick this up at PowerCon this oh, last year oh yeah buddy unpunched come on so there's another term for you guys unpunched means that so the the little hanging punch tab that they would put in the stores would always get punched out because it was they're hanging there. And it yes. was. And collectors find the unpunched a little more desirable. The gift sets, the gift sets. highly desirable. Fisto and Stridor. I love that because you have the regular Stridor um, right, here. right here, which is just the horse. And here is missing one because again, part of the community thing that I'm I'm very big on that. Um, it's not just BS. Yes, we buy and we flip and we have fun with stuff, but there's a, a collector, Ronnie, who had been looking for that piece, which yep. was my Night Stalker. It was the last piece he needed, mint on card, sealed in package, whatever you want to look at it as. And they have to be good. That's how he's going for. And I happen to have one and we did a trade. Awesome. Help okay. fill in that gap. So there's a gap there, mm -hmm. but technically I got another one, which is in this box here. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Um, so really, really neat. A uh, lot of merchandise, memorabilia, because they kind of, for back, lack of a better term, hoard themselves out to various They're companies. Everywhere. Stamp, soap, shampoo, toothbrushes. I mean, you, every company. Anything you name, it's it's there. I mean, like this this uh, this company here. I can't even think of the name of them right now. Um, oh, Grenadiers or something like that. Uh, yeah, right there. Um, oh, it's a model, little tiny models. painting kits. They're like these things here. Yeah. And oh, man. There, there are certain ones that are mail-aways that weren't sold in the boxes and stuff like that. Oh, so This is catching my eye. What is this? That's that's uh, that's your uh, Battle Cat. And it was uh, one of the, the items that you could get inside of the set. Oh, dude. And where is the... Uh, yeah, to focus a little bit better. There we go. Wow. Uh -oh. I'm trying <gasps> to find one. Dun, dun, dun. There it is. That's the one that you want to see. That's Which the one? rare one. Oh my god, the that, stamp? No, the Talon Fighter. Where, where am I looking? Oh, sorry, okay, sorry. Right, so right, right. That right. Talon Fighter isn't on the box, isn't shown anywhere, and uh -huh. neither is Panthor. There's some type of mail away or something that was with this four pack. There were four boxes of these, mm -hmm. four sets, and there were mail aways. I, I don't know how you came about them. Inside of the packaging, you can see instruction booklets, and in the instruction booklets, it shows this thing. Oh. But again, it was a special set that I, I honestly don't know how you came about it, but that's the that's the cool one. Interesting. Very cool. And then some more um this isn't this is two thousand X? The two thousand X, yeah. Those 2000 are just, X. I got a good deal on a whole lot, so I kept those because those are the little the, the specialty ones. Yep. But this is uh this is probably as you're making your way over here. I talked about these are the enamel pins. Those are vintage. Oh, so those are kind of cool from back in the day. Focus. The whole series of them. Oh, Beast Man. Yeah. But this. This is catching my eyes. This Snow is, Globe. This King Grayskull. It is. Whoa. That's actually from Grayskull Con. And it was either either the Grayskull Con 1 or Grayskull Con 2. I can't, I can't remember exactly what year. But this was a promotional piece that was given away as like a contest that you could then take and paint or do something with to... to, to uh, Honestly, I don't even know the full backstory behind it besides it came from Grayskull Con. Yeah. And it was like a contest piece that was either given away or very, very inexpensive for people to try to paint and do something with. But Dude, I love that thing. I freaking love it as well. Got this uh, from a gentleman by the name of Martin. You guys maybe seen some of his stuff. He did the, the Grizzlor costume. Oh, okay. Yep. And yep. He, Good so, guy. Really cool guy. Some other cool store displays we got right up here for the VHS release of the movie. 
um, some cars, the patches. Now some of these patches are available at your company, Retro Rags, where you can put these actual vintage patches. These are not not reproduction. Reproduction. These are, these are authentic from the 80s. Um, it was an old hat company, the same place that did, you know, gloves and things like this. That actually here's a duck underneath. Sorry, this is one of the actual vintage hats. Hats. So, yes, the place that sold and made these hats went out. The person I happened to run into had these patches, so I yep. managed to acquire hundreds of them. Yep, because this is the one I have on a modern hat. So if you turn like this around. And you put yep. yeah, so, the patch right up there and get rid of the white part and it looks pretty sweet. So Anything. We'll, we'll talk more about retro rags later in the video um, and tell people at home how they can be part of it. Some wall hangers. There's an Orco that's still missing. I just did a repair video on this to show, show people how to fix these guys. They're pretty pretty straightforward. And when you're talking about videos and other people want to see some of your videos, how can they watch them? Do they need to friend request you or join certain Facebook groups or what? Uh, if you Motu Joe yep. on Facebook, and virtually all the videos that I do will be up on the Motu Joe Facebook page. Yep. They're slowly trickling to YouTube, but that will take a lot of time. So and and you. You promote them, not promote, but you share them on some of the big Motu Facebook groups, such as Motu Nation, Motu Evolution. I'm assuming. And, yep. I mean, Masters of the Galaxy, the greatest toy group on earth. Lost oh yeah. Toys. Um, there's a, a program called Live Leap. So when I go live, it shares my live uh, simulcast to groups that I am involved with. Oh, so, cool. Um, including Motu Svidia and Masters of the Retroverse. Oh, I, I dig that, man. I love those little handheld video yeah. games. Wow. Oh, you know what? Have you seen mine? I, I got a boxed one of these. Oh, you did? Yes, I just nice. got that not too oh, long so ago. This is, this is the European communicator. How is it different from ours? This is the... Oh, European. here's art. Duh. Right there. Wow. And the funny thing is, is that this is the exact same communicator that Mask used as well. They just relabeled it with the Mask stickers. <laughs> and when you when you go on the hunt you find a lot of the u.s because we're we live in the united states obviously and yeah. you know items were mass produced in the united states by the millions whereas some of the the different countries uh only had them in a, a limited release so instead of the millions they were in the the tens of thousands the hundreds of thousands which makes it more difficult to find them and and be readily available that is pretty uncommon as well this is a full box of the Turkish version of the trading cards. What? Yeah. And the way that they did their trading cards was a trifold. I'll try to make sure I don't damage it. They're all uncut or all undone, but this is how they did it. And they're they're the exact same designs Holy as the pin moly. Okay. So this is how they were done in Turkey. Neat. Yep. Well, and that's the done. whole the whole set right there. And sometimes people are like, well, how do you find all this cool stuff? And it's... this In this particular case, this one was a Facebook group. Yep. Someone was like, hey, um, you know, I, I've got some stuff. Really cool guy. Awesome to deal with. Came through exactly like the deal said. And boom, just like that, through a Facebook group. And, and not only Facebook groups. I'm going to turn this around uh, real quick because I get that uh, question a lot. And with PMs or comments in my YouTube video, people are like, where do I start? Where do I go? And we just named one of the major ones that you and I both utilize, Facebook groups. Mm -hmm. Just get connected. Join these groups. They'll pop up on your Facebook newsfeed of He-Man related things. Mm -hmm. And you can find really super great deals. eBay is another gigantic one, but having safe yeah. searches for certain items that you're looking for and then knowing what you're looking for. And it's hard to know. I mean, that's why we're doing one of these videos is because when you see something, you're like, oh my God, I never knew that existed. I need to own it. Yep. And you make a saved eBay search and then it might take you a couple years, but also putting it out there, put in one of these Facebook groups, show a screenshot of the picture and say, I'm looking for this. Please, if anybody can help and you repost it, you know, every it's, few weeks. It's big. And I, again, I mentioned community earlier. It, it's, it's legit. I yeah. have a ton of stuff. I'm not bashful about it. I'm not trying to be, uh, um, I got, I'm humble about it. Okay. Right. I get it. I know that it's here, but there are things that I'm looking for too, just like anybody else. Yes. And people will respond. Like I didn't even ask, did not ask. Yeah. And somebody, uh, Mark wound up saying, Hey, I knew you were looking for this Boop. Yeah. and, and yes. sent it. And of all places from Australia, 
You know how much shipping is from Australia? So, again, it's awkward sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's definitely uh, sometimes for some out of their comfort zone. Yep. But you put yourself out there, you, you reach out, um, yeah. th there's a response. People have fun with it. And, yeah. and um, you know, for, for every little bit of maybe the potential chance of a something a crazy or a bad moment, mm -hmm. That is this You're very like small. This compared to it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, um, and then go to your local yeah. toy stores. Get connected with other friends because if your friends know that you're looking for certain things, when I come across a unique, weird, not weird because every <laughs> poor choice of word, but if I find something unique and go, oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. Who's the first person I got to? To contact hey motu joe check this out you need this and he'll go oh yeah i need it and i'll put him in touch with the person that maybe has it for sale or whatnot oh i'm on the wrong shelf no you're good um so oh this is another good one here this is kind of tucked away with the costumes never knew about this until this what year. what yeah see it's in a ben cooper costume wow john uh wound up setting me up he runs a uh, scare goes house he wound up knowing know that i was looking at this missed Whoa. out by a second i would never seen that. And I that's the either. cool part too, because you've been doing this for many years and you just said, I didn't even know it existed. Didn't know and about it until two months ago, three months ago. There's still so many of those items out there that you or I or a, like, a lot of people don't okay. know that exist. So I'm gonna rewind just for a second here. This this one is something of definitely to take take note of. Okay. Um, I guess it's a braggadocious moment here. <laughs> um, I got this at PowerCon this last year. Yep. Um, in our community that we talk about, there's tens of thousands of people within it. Okay. Yep. This is only the second one that we know of sealed. Oh, wow. And, and, and it's something that some of the high end collectors joke about like, Hey, I want to find that. I want that. I want it. I well, want tell people loose. what it is. It's a nightlight. Yeah. That's it. It's an Orco nightlight. It's the same. <laughs> Have you plugged it in? Yes, I did. It does light. <laughs> it does light. It's the same as the He-Man. That's oh, it, right? Wow. But they put a He-Man out and they put yep. an Orco out. Yes, yes. This you can find. It's like 30 bucks. This, right. don't ask. You it's don't expensive. even find it, yeah. Find it. It's not. And the fact that I found it at PowerCon three hours after it was open. No! By, I missed it, and it was still there. Um, I got it. I was amazed. So here's the fun fun thing for you, okay? Yep. If anyone has any weirdness, notice the back. I don't know if we can read that or not. Yeah, I have to zoom in here. It says He-Man, Man-at-Arms, Orco, and Tila. So there was possibly other ones? We don't know. Maybe. Nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody in the community knows of a man-at-arms or a Tila. Dude, that's freaking amazing. But that's, it's on that's the packaging. Phenomenal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I love it. So yeah, Probably, that's a fun one for, well, for you. One of my favorite things, and I think I touched upon it with your last video, um, this. I just love the colors of it. Um, this random character, I don't even know who Fang that is. Oh, Fang Man. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, why would we know that? You wouldn't. He wasn't really... Right, he wasn't He wasn't a, a vintage character. Oh. No, he wasn't made available. And then there's some 2000X birthday stuff here that I got for my 40th. It was pretty cool. This was something I was looking for for a long time. What is it's, it? It's a Chinese yo-yo from the 2000X. Oh! See, like it's, I said, again, they'll make anything uh, and uh, slap Motu on it. I, I that, don't even. That's gum. Oh gum! Yes. It's gum. The 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 rolls. Like the rolls. Watermelon, strawberry, ex, Airheads Extreme. They Jeez. Put a, yeah. <laughs> now those are vintage though. Those are vintage candy bars. Let's pop it open on screen. Let's eat it. Yeah. Yes. No. no. <laughs> so, Some models. Yep. Those right? are the models that they put out. Those are the three different versions. They actually had two versions of each. So. Um, as as an example, this one here, stay in here. This one here is black and red. They would have another version of it where it was opposite, where it was red and black. Okay. Uh, kind of like there. Yep. So yep. Um, that's that's so each one of these sets has there's two versions. You do not know what's in there until you open it. Ah, uh, see, I see. This is new. I'm going dripping down no, a shelf, but this is new. And the pegs are somewhere. What there, do we have? This is the this is the uh door hanger or a coat hanger peg, peg oh peg. so you'd mount it to the door and then put those pegs in there yep. and, and, and hang the, your little i know the pegs are here and it, they're rigid. was this a u.s thing or yes so this is the american toy furniture company i'll be darned um saying that did the toy box the two different versions of the toy box look at her eyes 
they did a uh um she's cross-eyed a little bit <laughs> Okay. Well, I mean, he's cross-eyed too, and he's got a funky-looking mustache going on. <laughs> that's that's another one of my favorite things about uh, some of these just uh, merchandise is the artwork. Um, cause a lot of times we don't know who did the artwork on this, and it could be just Joe Random that doesn't know much about the line, sees one picture from a box or something else, and then goes, "Ah, I'll wing it and figure it out." But. Um. And then, of course, this is some of the European displays. This is how they sold the uh, keychains. Yep. That's how they sold the uh, pencil, pencil sharpeners. sharpeners. A full case of them. Yep. Love it. And then what that, about these little guys? Those are pencil toppers. Mm -hmm. the, the little weird butthole thing. <laughs> they are weird. But those are those are pretty cool. That's uh, I think that's the all of them. I'm not actually positive on that. Yep. Yep. These are um, required in. Uh, just an empty one uh a loose one i should say of those they have a there's multiple versions of those tops but they're not easy to find they're very hard oh to that find. top part you know push yeah. a button or whatever starts spinning it and then it releases yep. and spins around nice and then these are the mail, the mail away, away screeches and this is the ram man zoar and that's the screech mail away oh cool and then uh, 2000 x Happy Meal. Happy the Meal toys. Inside. Yeah, I see those toys. Are these Ben? Yeah, these are Ben Coopers. Those are Ben Coopers. Now there's many more masks. I uh, there there are. Do you remember like ten something like that? Well, there's yeah, there's um, the King. What is it? The Tongue Lasher, or is it King Hiss? King Hiss is near impossible to find. I think. Um, Shira is out there. Stone dart. Why, Why they made a stone dart? It's not like you would dress up and kids would be like. Oh my gosh, you're stone dar. They're just gonna go, oh, you're a, a blue person? There's I don't two know. different. If you notice, there's three boxes. Yep. There's this Ben Cooper style box. Mm -hmm. Then there's the Masters style box. These are the same US release. Yep. These are the European release. Oh yeah. You don't see packages. the rainbow on there. Huh. And then this, I'm bouncing down one shelf. That's all right. <laughs> is my favorite costume piece now. <sighs> This is how they did costumes in Italy. I love that. Whoa! Hold on. This is cloth. You never showed me this. Cloth! I just, I just got it. That's why. It's Holy sh... Nike stuff. Wow. Because our costumes were like thin plastic you that know? would just disintegrate upon looking at it. I mean, this is warm Dude. material. Dude! Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then the, the mask, which is normally missing and broken, is intact. I put a little piece of tape to support the bottom. Oh, that's thin, dude. But you know what? Look at this. It's rubbery. Oh, you got some cojones. <laughs> it's, it's rubbery. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I guess it, actually, it does. And then here's the hood. It actually comes with a separate hood. Have you let your is, uh, son put this on yet? No, it's too small. My daughter oh, really? doesn't fit in it. Oh, really? Well, I got a kid that's now, a little smaller. This is the, this is the part that... Um, was a little disintegrated, so mm -hmm. it's the the epaulets of the shoulder yep. um, and the belt. Okay. And it had a little bit of that foam backing on it, and the foam backing started to deteriorate. Ah, uh, yes. So I went through and I shook it all off, got all the foam to kind of basically break off. Yep. And the it's still it's still there. It just doesn't have as thick of a, a feel to it as it once did. Just like that foam in the Star Wars Dagobah that you just exactly. touch it and it goes. <laughs> yeah, same same. All right, people always comment on this at my house that was a custom done by you and they're like what is this thing can you kind of explain to yeah. people what it is it was a, a toy box bookshelf because the bottom is a toy box mm -hmm. i'll move this stuff back so you can see that there's a door here and it is a it's one-to-one -one scale for he-man so you can actually take like battle ram is in here right now you can barely see it Yep. But it does fit and rolls right out. He-Man on Battle Cat comes in and out. And what I did is I did we just did some stickers. Mm -hmm. Did them up here, replaced them. This is originally put up by Today's Kids, which is the company. It was in the 90s. And it's gray originally. It's a, yeah. it's a dark gray classic, light gray classic castle looking feel. And I wanted to make it... Uh, it's not my idea. I saw someone else do a Castle Grayskull like this mm -hmm. a couple years back, and I thought, well, if I find one, I want to try it. So I did. Yeah. And um, I actually have another one out back right now that I'm will be working on, but that'll be I think that'll be a third one or fourth one I've done. Oh, awesome. And uh, they're 
they're cool. It's really fun. I put the same decals. So obviously they're Castle Grayskull stickers. These are fit well, but they're Eternia stickers. Okay. Um, this is the other side of the flag, the uh, Castle Grayskull flag, but inside, uh, which I won't show right now, it's a pain in the ass, but there are the same Castle Grayskull stickers. So like the space suit. Yes. I blew them up to make them bigger mm -hmm. and I put them on the inside just so that way it gives the full effect. But that's it. I just thought it'd be a really cool display. Piece. No, it is. It, uh, it, it's, it it's, catches the eye. I love it for my personal collection. Um, this is also catching my eye. Skateboard? Yes. That's with the loyal subjects. Is it really? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that yeah that's their crown. So. Yep. Sorry about that. I'm dropping bombs you in this are. little <laughs> this little enclosed room. Right. And I know it's not it. yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um I got that for my Christmas gift for my wonderful wife, the Hallmark Skeletor uh, ornament. And then you have some of the 2000 x type figures up here. I'm sure this is several figures deep. All, yeah, it's I think four or five figures deep. I have. While I have this bike in frame, let's yeah. let's talk about yeah. this because I don't know if I've ever seen this before. That's um that okay. So we talk about rarity and and whatnot. There aren't very many of these that we know of. No. Um, the collectors community. This is an Italian released bike. It was given away. This isn't the one that was given away, but this was a prize that you could have won. Uh, in the Italian giveaway oh, and cumber. it came with a it's a different shield so again full disclosure the shield would be up here yep and it's a different style shield it has in these areas here it's a it's like there's raised graphics okay so it's a little different but I just had this as a placeholder yep the sword is not a two-piece sword the original wouldn't be a two-piece it's a same size yep. but it's all gray like this and just a solid blown gotcha and it came with it so you there's have the little, sword from a, something else in other yeah, place set. Yeah. It's just an extra one. And there's a little plastic piece that goes over this, which keeps that little thing from hooking on pants. But the fact it. that it exists, even right. though it's missing a few pieces. Well, is... look at the details, like the shield. The oh, oh shield. my gosh. You've that got, is. You've got the Talon Fighter, which they put the sticker over in the wrong spot, but that's the Talon Fighter. So that's the Talon Fighter head. Yep. You've got basically it's the equivalent. Looks like the Talon Fighter head. Oh yeah. You see the it runs the whole length, and oh. it's got kind of like feather effects on the seats. Even it's just it ties in really well. So you had this shipped from overseas. It came from Italy. No. It came from Belgium, if I'm not mistaken. Dude, that shipping on that had to be god awful. And then I'm trying. I got other product. <laughs> One second. Gosh, I love seeing it here. Let me do a quick 360 because. Some people to grow on. Oh my gosh, what the heck? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on with this amazingness? Everywhere you look. Is it, isn't this your happy place? If you had a bad day, you yeah. come in here, you just go. I've had a couple. Ah, and it just wipes all those pieces of stress away. Oh man. And then you start going, where am I going to put all this stuff? <laughs> oh, that's cool. And we, for those that don't know, Battle Armor is my favorite, was my favorite character He-Man in. Battle Armor! Oh, let me see, let me see. Oh, yeah. So, it's a, it's a really cool piece. Uh, there aren't many that we know of um, out there. There are. There's some out there for sure. I'm not stupid enough to think that. And there, and there could be some in someone's garage that they just don't realize that it's a unique piece and it could get thrown away like most of them were, or left out in the rain, rusted, whatnot. The so this was, there's no rust on this. Right. Theoretically, used. there could De be 30, you know, 30 in existence. And just yeah. throwing that number out there, who knows? Um, so move into this little area. So these are all the books. These are sealed puzzles. I don't like to deal with the, the loose ones. So I have, there's Missing a lot. Pieces. There's still, miss, still a lot of those that are MIA for me. What's, what's in the corner there? This is wrapping paper. What? This is the no. 50 square feet of vintage wrapping paper. Sealed. Oh, dude. Yeah. I, why don't they reproduce this stuff? Uh, I want that I wrapping paper. Know. I want to wrap my whole ceiling in that. They've got, a, oh, there's some laser discs back there. 
and the uh, CEDs. Laser disc. What movie, yeah. folks at home? What movie am I talking about? It's on laser disc, and that's a horrible impression. If you know what movie it is, please comment below. <laughs> um, up top here, yep, we've got some uh, boxed. It's a Monstroid, actually Mexico version. Oh, okay. Um, a cup that they gave away at a Scottsdale Mattel convention. 1984, it says. Those it's are like the, a little boot. Yep. Yeah, and then these are uh, those are slippers, and then these are the. Um, French mustard uh, glasses. What? Mm -hmm. And that's a Leo. That's the only Leo piece I have. Leo means from uh, India. India. And that's the toy, uh, the treasure chest. Yes. And then these are the regular juice glasses from here. Yep. The U.S. Uh, it's a soap dispenser. Mm -hmm. The AM radio and another version of the AM radio. Cool. And over here is your mint on card vintage, vintage. figures. Yep. That one looks familiar, huh? Yeah, it's like I had that in my collection at one time, so it goes a few deep back there. Yeah, they're four deep, I think, on that okay. shelf. So, and then there's a little bit that bleeds down here. What's down. up with the sticker? That one? That was just some, some, some extraordinary purchase. From Hills. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't take it off. I, my OCD was fine with just having it. Yeah, nice oh, I, I totally get that. Um, and then these are the, the European, and I, this actually made my man-at-arms, who was standing in front of it, fall, but... There is the European, trying to make sure it doesn't fall, but the European and the US versions. And I like the European version far better because of that. it has man at arms actually wearing it. I love that version. That, yeah. that looks great. And that's why, again, it doesn't like to stay, but that's why he is down here wearing it. Yep. And I remember you sending this lead to you. I saw it um, on one of the Facebook groups. I think I tagged you or yeah. just gave you the guy's information. And now I'm totally regretting it because this is the coolest cool? thing in the world, and I wish I could just go na 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 na. No, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm glad know. it's in your collection. So it's like a a necklace piece. See, this kid's rocking it. I'm sure he didn't get bullied at school for wearing that. <laughs> oh, he's probably. Um, but you got little pieces of yeah, you can swords and shields, havoc ways. staffs. Yeah, that's oh, a pretty some cool accessory pack back there. Yep, and then a few meteor orbs. And then you were asking about glow in the dark stuff. These are yes. the, these are the glow in the darks from Nerd Block. Okay. So there's four of them I think that they came out with. And Nerd Block's a website that it, what an exclusive so. or something it, like that. I had some type of deal with them. Yeah. Um, so his hands and face are glow in the dark, unlike the regular Super Seven Reaction ones. I mean, you got all the most unique ones out front. Um, obviously, for obvious purposes. There's some cool ones that you helped me out with PowerCon and got me uh, yeah. some PowerCon exclusives, which I thank you very much. Uh, these are unique. These are from, I still, no one can no tell one, me who made these. Yeah, no one knows. But the Grayskull line, I just I actually just did in one of my Facebook videos talking about this. There's 60 of 69. There's a Build-A-Figure, a bath is another term for it. But inside are, is a body part. You can see, in, I don't know if you can see there. Yeah, kinda. Inside is one of the body parts. And if you look on the back, you can so see who it makes. This is who it makes. It makes Alex. Alex which yeah, is great. Yeah, but getting all these guys to get the build a figure and I've got difficult. four of them. I don't have Prince uh, King Hiss or Prince Hiss, and I don't have the dial a mug. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen him. I've only seen him once. Yep. And it wasn't the version that had the sticker on it, so it didn't have the build. -a -mug. Ah. So I don't. I don't know if I'm going to be chasing forever or what. But well, if you have them at home and you're watching this. Hit up Motu Joe. He'll give you millions of dollars. Yeah, these are the good uh, the mail aways. Wow. JC Penny or Sears, I forget which one. Which I'm guessing they were just trying to I'm gonna set the camera down for a second. Close out some stock and go, hey, we got way too many um where is it? Buzz offs and fistos. So, hey, how can we uh, package them together and maybe move some of these inventories? I know Star Wars did that. Uh, with some of their figures, the ones that weren't selling, they just tossed them together in a cheap, crude packaging because that didn't probably cost too much. There's no color details to it, um, and there's multiple. There's a lot of them. There's, there's a lot uh, of, and there's brown. Uh, the brown ones, ones are the more common pennies ones, or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's from what I understand, this is the only one that was in white. There may be two that came in white. Yep. All the other ones are that brown cardboard. Yeah, just uh, brown cardboard with the the decals of which figures are inside. It's still, it's still really cool. 
Yeah. All right, what do we got going on right here? I see a pendant that's catching my eye. Can we take that down? Where are we at? Which we're pendant where? Right here, under there. Oh, pendant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the power tour pendant. I got a lot of stuff on top of it, though. It's all right. Uh, this is a... Uh... Wow. That's, there are three versions of it. There's orangish, this color, blue, and green. 1987. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Hordak's fingers. Yeah. Why is his fingers like that? I don't know. He's just like, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's got this little, like, sinister grin on his face. I like it. Cool. Yep. I'm and, digging it. Uh, yeah. As you move down here, you start getting into some. I have to still get a Zolo case for this to put him up there, but you start getting into some more of the. Uh, and Zolo cases are these hard plastic yeah. um, protective cases. Zolo World, um, Michael Zolotrowski is the owner. I did a, a video with him just recently yep. talking about his Realm of the Underworld uh, figures and whatnot. Whoa! This is the Mark Taylor art set. And for those who don't know who Mark Taylor is, can you explain? Mark Taylor is based. Is arguably and considered to be the godfather the creator of the entire masters line at least the original pitch sketches yep so this is what his original concept or thought was or down the line i should say it for beast man because beast man originally was more of a bigger beast chewbacca looking yeah. weird thing so inside of here are all or i think 14 or 16 different prints mm -hmm. um that he's done and he signed them for you and they're actually available so if you actually look up rebecca Sari taylor on facebook and you say what? What was the first word? Rebecca. Rebecca. Yep. Uh, Siri Taylor. Siri. Yep. You know how to spell um, that? Uh, I think it's S A R E E. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm spelling that wrong, Rebecca. And you see this? Um, she's more of the social, uh, active person, so you you can still get these. Yeah. They will send them to you. It's like forty bucks plus oh, shipping. Oh, dude, that's nothing. That's nothing. There's, there's, I mean, you know, I know a little bit about production and stuff with retro rag. That's that's a steal. Yeah. And it's yeah. signed. And, and just this one, the, the dungeon decal that was yes. on inside Castle Grayskull that we all know and love. Rebecca is actually the color who did the, the coloring of this. And, and Mark was the one that drew it. Drew it. So, I mean, there's, there's these wow. are these are the... People influential in our childhood. Big. They this yeah. big. That's, and that's, if you can help <laughs> them out, that's equally as big because, I mean, Mattel really benefited. And, of course, they benefit from all the fans and stuff like that, but... Buy yeah, from them. yeah, I, I totally agree. Uh, totally agree. What else do we got? So along those lines are some cells, and these are the kind of special ones. So this is the pencil. Oh my gosh! Of the lost commercial, one of the cells. And then I even, lost commercial. So yeah. <laughs> what? Lost so, commercial. If you saw the uh, definitive films version of the um, He-Man, it's uh, what is it? The power of what is? It? I'm gonna make sure I get it right. Uh, the Power of Grayskull, the definitive history, history of Master He Man and the Masters of the Universe. Is it on Netflix it's still? It's on Netflix still. Mm. Um, they talk about this commercial, and you can see it in there. It's the pitch, it's what they did to actually get them to say, yep, let's go ahead and, and, and do this whole thing. Mm. Um, and you can see He Man is definitely more rugged. It's not filmation looking. No. And it's. Or detail. It's, right. Um, it's hair it's, strands of hair in there. That's cool. There's 30 seconds. It's a 30 second pitch video. Mm -hmm. There are on average 15 cells or images per second. Yep. So when you do the math on that, that works out to roughly, we'll round up and say 450. Mm -hmm. So there are only 450 of this lost of this, commercial these cells in existence in order to create that 30 second commercial. And what they do is they draw it, what, in blue yeah. first? Well, here's a. I gotta do a little bit of shifting here, but I can show you. Here's a pano version of a lost cell. Mm. Oh, is that the same yeah, it's a one. one? So this is not the exact same one, and I'll explain. Slightly different. Yeah. It looks virtually the same, and the naked eye would think it's the same, but across the bottom is how you identify it. So you can see here it says MC. Yep. That stands for Master's Commercial. Okay. As opposed to, oh, I don't have one exposed. It would be MU, which would be the cartoon. Mm. Okay? Yep. Here is the character reference is HM. He, man. And 18 is the cell reference number, right? Yep. So we can go across here, go MC, we commercial, we know it's the same. 17, 17, 
but He-Man 22, He-Man uh, 18. Four spaces next. This is two spaces before the sequence of him jumping out of the of the the well. Oh the my fell gosh! So this is there's the two of these. Yep. And then this is the same same with this one, and it doesn't looks like it was trimmed. Which they did that sometimes. So you just gave me some information on my own cells. I didn't know what that stood here, here's for. Here's the, the certificate, certificate of authenticity. So I'm not yeah. This is uh, one of the cells of Man at Arms on the jet sled from the Lost commercial. Wow. And I don't think. And there's many of these types of things available online every now and then. Subject right. matter. Um, definitely is important determining value or desirability. You know, people want He-Mans, they want Skeletors, they don't want the back of a Mantena or something. Right. Um, so it looks like typically they'll draw it in with this fine blue pencil and then outline it with actual pencil. And then from what I understand, you can correct me if I'm wrong, put these clear translucent pieces over it. Um, a fine line, not fine they'll, line, they'll but they'll paint it. Paint it. So they'll, this is actually painted from the back side of the cell. Yes, so but the I think they reference. trace first on um, the top and then flip it over to the back and then paint it with the coloring. And you've got your, you know, these are notes here saying like A, this is like the A cell of a B, which could this could be a pano, yep. right? Like this here, they didn't cut this. They left it all intact because the cellulose, cellul cellulose cell runs from right here where I'm touching the paper all the way to here mm -hmm. is the edge of that cell versus this is a standard size cell. This okay. is considered a pano. Yep. This is considered standard size. And these are all standard size because of the holes that are, it's hard to see, mm -hmm. but that's where they lock in onto their boards when they're doing their drawing. Yep. So they know sequentially, oh, this is just a hair over. This is a hair over this way, this way, this way, this way, whatever it may be. Awesome, awesome, and awesome. along those lines, there are two more in that package over there. Ooh, how about we do a live opening? Yeah, you want to see one? Heck yeah, dude. I, I did open these just to make sure it's what it was. Let me turn this around. So I can... This in here? Yeah. <gasps> dude! Pretty crazy, huh? Oh, wait till you see this one. There's two, so let's do this. And I will have to eventually get these ones framed. Because these are... These are pretty freaking stellar. Come on. Yeah, finding these things, I mean, I have one that's framed in my collection that... There's only 450. Yeah. I mean, that's that's it. It's not like the animation cell. So think about that. There's 450 individually hand-drawn images to make 30 seconds. We watched 20 minutes oh of a cartoon. My. So there's tens, tens of, of thousands. thousands of the other cells. Yes. There are only 450 yeah. of these, yeah. period. So. This one is pretty cool because we've got a pencil drawing of, of He-Man busting right. through. Now this is the sequence of the Lost commercial where he's busting through, put some, it's hard to still see, but he busting through the wall of the castle at that point. Yep. yep. So that's what this scene is from. And you can see faintly the blue, I'll try to yeah, I can see it there. Like an and we'll explosion put the or something. That's him like landing, like Underneath boom, it. like it came through. Wow. And then this one is by itself. <laughs> is towards the end of the commercial. You see, and it flies past, and then the Mattel logo. Okay, let me see if I can put this overlay my head. It'll be like, like I'm Skeletor if I put it enough. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Beast man, you idiot. <laughs> nice. So that's, uh, that's him towards the end. And then... Curry. Right? Oh, let's turn it around and the back. Show it. So this is what it looks like to us. This is what we see See the fine publicly. black lines. This is what the back of a cell looks like. Mm -hmm. So they go back over and they the back doesn't this really is matter where it's that painted. much. This, this is, is all the paint. This is the paint. The front part is doesn't have any paint. You can't nope. scratch the front paint off. Nope, you it's all in the back. You can scratch the back. Yeah, that's super interesting there. That's pretty cool. So this is 30. I don't know what the reference is. Obviously, it's MC20. Yep. And there's a 30 right there, so. Pretty love cool. Love it, love it, man. <laughs> All right, let's continue our Masters of the Universe tour at Motu Joe. Um, back there, if you don't recognize this, 
It's from the, uh, what do they call it? Commemor the Commemorative Series, what, 2006-ish? Early, early 2000s, when they relaunched them. Um, you can tell if you have them in your hand and you're like, I don't know if this is a vintage He-Man or a, a, a commemorative He-Man. There's a little lip, um, a ring around the foot that, that'll give a telltale sign. Uh, no. Yeah. No, let me let me cool, let me yeah. zoom in so I can get the uh, tell people what we're looking at. So try to hold it still and tell me what what this is. So this is a pencil drawn, not on a normal big size sheet, but an actual quick reference storyboard for the Masters of the Universe movie from 1987. Gosh, the Dolph movie. The Dolph movie. <laughs> that's it. And what's cool is. Uh, their point of view, meaning the trooper's point of view. And this is cool because you've got all four characters referenced. Yes, yes. Holy moly. And there's a, obviously a trooper coming up from shooting. Yep. Uh-huh. Dude, that's that's pretty special. Because that is not a reproduction. That's not a copy. That's an original that's original piece. pencil. And they're actually not entirely certain. It may be from a cut scene even. So, oh, okay. Uh, that's, that's, again, it's still kind of cool, but... It's from the movie. We know. Yeah, yeah. So, um, some of the things that are still available out there are the Super Seven. They made the crossover Muscle, which I love, Muscle Men. Um, but they made He-Man characters, and there's I don't think they're up to Series Three right now with the even the the trash cans that would come with ten of them. Yeah. Um, but the original Muscle Men from the '80s, they came with four in the pack, but these ones three. But whatever, it's still still neat what, what am I looking at right here this is from tops when they did their their baseball collector cards and this is oh come on this is uncut. not an uncut sheet yep it's an uncut sheet this is the stickers I mean they're all stickers technically but these are the um, here's the back this is this will show you so when you would collect the cards you would get to build a scene like this. So yes. put them all together, and this is what you would get when you got all the cards put together. So at the factory, they would be just slicing and dicing these things. That's right. That's what these. That's what the uh, the marks are up top. Oh my! Those are the cut lines. Yes, that's pretty mm -hmm. special that that sucker survived all these years. It's pretty cool. It goes great with uh, the. Well, you help find those. The uh, Wonder Bread uncut. Oh, yeah, we didn't even talk about that in the other room, or we will. Um, so the relaunch, the classic series. All Maddie. I mean, this is vintage down here in the bottom corner, but this is pretty much from here over. Save this. This is German. This is the audio cassette holder. Oh, dude, look at that. Now, again, it's a pretty rough condition. It's all right. But again, the inside the... is supposed to have a, a, a plastic insert mm -hmm. to you know, hold the cassettes, but... I love the upside down rainbow. That is just neat. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. That's funny. So and then, this is all the 2000X. I mean, there's a little bit of trickling of stuff in there. Gosh, why didn't they make a vintage figure of the Shadow Weaver? How neat would that have been? Uh, I oh, saw well, a custom. It would have only been in Shearer then. That's right? all right. It wasn't in the Heat Man. That's true, but I still would. Oh my gosh. I still haven't bought this. I need to buy the, the van, the 70s painted van with he-man um is that that's not a fanny pack is that yeah, really a fanny pack, pack. yeah ah. <laughs> i wore it I put, I put some retro rags pants went to a little party and like go ahead pick a pin from my sack <laughs> you did not <laughs> actually you did wrong. no you didn't you were... from my sack. <laughs> and it was fun oh god these are these are uh, f fan made again, but uh, Quest miniatures. Mm -hmm. Just like those things, of the old school ones, like the Peter guys, he's redoing these again, and it's, I won't go into crazy, crazy, but look at Chip Draw, how he comes now. I don't know if you mm -hmm. can see that. I'll let you adjust the camera. Yeah, it's hard to get the... That coming in. Uh, oh, I'm getting it. And steady. Focus, focus, focus. No, good. Yes. Kind of. Kind good of. enough. All right, good enough. I can see it. It's pretty cool. Again, fan-made stuff, uh, but very impressive. You can find him on Etsy. Okay. Um, moving along to some of the the yeah, giants. The giants. The Megator right here. Yeah. And... The knockoff Legos. <laughs> <laughs> 
the Titus. Titus. Oh, the knockoff Legos. Yeah, yeah. these are. You can find them on uh, on eBay pretty regularly. Chinese type knockoffs. And Ginger. Ginger. Now tell me what's the story of him. He's the. Uh, he's color changing. So uh, basically, he's just a traveler from the past. Uh, he's from a timeline. That's my little creative character. He when he gets exposed to sunlight. He turns bright red, and he actually does color change. He turns bright red. Oh. Um, it's pretty fun. He's invisible. That's his ability, and he can suck your soul. <laughs> um, and that's, the, that's the actual hero's power staff. Yep. And the reason why it's a skull is because that's actually his skull. That's that's why he's the way he is, is that when he touched it, it was... There's a whole backstory. It's pretty cool. So you're just a little play on words with being a ginger redhead. Yeah, and all the fun one. memes just online. With it. And it, uh, it, the color change is spectacular. It turns bright red very quickly. I'm guessing this is one of our buddy Victor, big, uh, yeah. Kit Bash, having fun, yeah. hodgepodge and some figures together. Uh, these are the tower tools um, yep. that we were just talking you. about. This is your... Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yep, yep. I, almost, I always grab the heads, but they're magnetic, so you pop them off. Yeah, they go careful. pop. Awesome. Uh, Titus back there with his luscious locks of hair. Yeah, um, I do need to find his crowns. The one thing I never, I didn't have for him, but eh, I'll reproductions find it on online too. One of my favorite pieces of artwork is Skeletor underwater riding that little scuba sub, and then Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve. All your complete vintage uh, loose collection here is this a full run of them all that is uh well Almost. when you get over there you'll see that uh king has fell but he's back behind the door um my mechanic or beast man is out back out back yeah because down beast by the man, river? if you look down there on the the castle you can see his legs broke oh okay That's from a people always comment on this thing Hey guys, I want to take you into another room of Motu Joe's. Now, if you watched the prior video, which I'll have a link in here, you'll see that there was in the background when I started going, hey, Justice Curry, I'm at Motu Joe's, blah, blah, blah. And people were mad at me going, Justice, why didn't you show anything in this room? Because this room is very special. Um, I remember when I first met Joe, he was telling me, ah, you know, I'm just going to put a few things and then, like most things, it bleeds and takes over the room. That didn't last long. That really didn't last long. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of things are new. Like, I mean, this cabinet is newish. But I really wanted to uh, show you some of the pieces. Now, it's kind of in disarray, but that's all right. Because some of the collections are in disarray. Why is it kind of... It's part of the cleaning. So, um, those of you who have seen the promos uh, for Plastic Crack, yep. uh, Guillermo's... Uh, amazing documentary which is coming out very soon yes um, link in the description I was uh, part of where where there's a little teaser and stuff I'm, I'm seated right here well there's glare so we took the glass panels off which are here which now means I'm subject to dust a uh, lot of it so dust door I was a little uh, I was a little lazy a little procrastinator on this one but dust got in here so it's cleanup day so cleanup day means I took everything out, uh, working from the top down, so anything that falls off falls to the bottom, and eventually I'll clean the bottom last. But this is kind of what you have to do until I can get the glass panels back in, in which case then dust becomes much less of a factor. Yes, yes. But until then, this is. Uh, I know you well, can't we'll show. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the the people around and show some of the the items that we have um, in your other toy room, which we just went through. It's freezing in there, and it's, it's cold. It's very cold because you combat the dust by doing what? <laughs> I close the vent. Yep. I actually magnetically seal the vent so no dust can come in through the the heating system. Right. Um, the window. It is a room, but the window is uh, the windows are taped shut, uh, so dust doesn't come in through there. Um, they're also um uv protected so sunlight oh my doesn't goodness. come in there yes um but they are still fire safe that you can it, it can be blown out if need to um need be from the inside out yep um, um but the other thing is uh the door has a little bit of a felt seal around it as well the only 
dust that comes into that room is stuff that we carry into it on our bodies. Right. And a little bit of a gap at the bottom of the door, which I've, I've thought about actually getting the, uh, that little carpet runner thing that you see that it goes, it's like sandbag on one side, sandbag on one yes. side, it slides through the door, right? So whatever, I've, cause Dude. this is a wooden floor down here, it yep. wouldn't matter, right? I've actually thought about doing that and that would eliminate even more dust. You're hardcore when it comes to dust, cause most of us, you know, we just, we procra I mean, you mentioned the word procrastination. Yeah. And it is not fun dusting. It's Take, not. Especially with massive toy rooms and all the nooks and crannies no. and how no. delicate things are to cleaning uh, solutions. And no. Wait till you, uh, two years ago, year ago, I moved everything, the, the, the statues like this, out of there, into yep. here, put this in. I had a cabinet on the wall. I, I didn't take everything out. I had to dust. <laughs> everything because I drilled a few holes oh. and the drywall dust seems to just go <laughs> everywhere. So the room is say like this long yep. from about here this way I had to take Anthony, my daughter and I, uh, Angelina and I, we, we just e each piece. Yep. Carefully with the, uh, we sprayed the paper towel oh. with a little bit of Windex. To I keep do it damp, not like doing that. And then just let yep. it wipe. Yep. I don't know process. how many hundreds of items. But oh, I believe it. Can you uh, give me a little tour of what we're looking at? So I've shown the viewers at home some of these things, you know, the icon heroes that I'm gonna do a, a YouTube video in the near future for. Um, but can you tell me what these busts are? These are uh, Tweeter Head, and it, it's Tweeter. Um, it's Masters of the Universe, obviously. Uh, He-Man Skeletor, they did Beastman and Tila, which I don't have. Oh, they set up just they like set this, up, huh? Yep, and they just oh, stand wow, on there. Oh, wow, that's sharp. Yep, and um, they're magnetic. So you don't have to worry about things breaking on them too e too often. So yep. they just kind of click in. And another thing caught my eye: the Rock'em Sock'em He-Man robot set. Uh, it's kind of weird colors, and you know I'm not really knowledgeable about the 2000 X line, and that's you know the figures from it. But what's what's the story that's, with this? That's uh, considered a test shot or a, a working prototype. Um, it's an unpainted version. This is where they would um, the hands and the swords were fixed on this and they would go onto here. So this is something that they could actually work and, oh. and, and you know, see yep. how it would you know, function. So this is late in the production stages. Neat. For all intents and purposes, this could be considered a final version yep. that was just never painted. Right. But in all likelihood, that's not the case because I have the original that was actually sold in the toy room mm -hmm. and they are a little bit different on where the paint apps are and the plastics are different. Ah. So more than likely that is a, uh, a legit test and there was a two of them out there at the same time and yeah just snag one of them let's let's move on over here some really i'm guessing it's the four horsemen um bust yep yeah we've got a bunch of the busts that are coming down that line yeah one of my we've favorite got pieces tastefully bad bears or tastefully it was uh bad taste bears right i remember them sold at spencer's where uh spencer's gift shop not this one in particular but um, yeah, the, the bears would be doing all sorts of bizarre, not for children type right. acts. But this is He-Man uh, cross-dressing as She-Ra. We have Victor Custom, a Victor Custom Rambo and uh, Mr. T. These Love are cool. Awesome. Rambo from King. the Four Horsemen. Oh wow! Yeah, two different versions of it. Nice. Those are just Homer. Some, uh, Mexican knockoff <laughs> somethings. I just thought they were really cool. Yeah. And then this is He Bad. His, this is one. This is actually the first custom oh, I ever dude. got. Dude. Look at that. Yeah, it's Mindbender Customs. It's the first wow. one I ever got. Actually, Travis is the guy who pointed me to this toward this that guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Some paperweight. Uh, yeah, paperweight. You have that. That's the Icon Heroes one. Some more Four Horsemen bust variations. Yep. And then the Skeletor, they're just behind there because of the, the glass. Are... Yep, because normally this is really artfully cool. filled with things. What do we got down here? So that's the uh, Pop Culture Shock, I believe is what that was. And they've got different little, it's kind of hard to see. And I hope I don't block the camera too much because you can't. In the back here, there are, where is it? I can see it in the mirror. Got two of them. <laughs> so there's little jaw replacements so oh this is him doing that and this is him with it more closed <laughs> nice and then you've even got different weapons that can that, that interchange in his hands why'd you pick that jaw 
other than the Just other one. Just because it's, he's doing the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's another four horsemen. So and there's smaller ones too. The uh, the NECA. Those are in the other room. Yep. Yep. I did. I don't have any of those out of package. But it's pretty much the same looking sculpt because I had that one at one time. Yeah. So they're very similar. Yeah. That's awesome. And we we passed over this in the beginning when we started talking. But what uh, what am I looking at right here? Same four horsemen. Yep. Um, those are, that's from the same line as the, the sorceress that you just saw. Trap jaw. It's probably my favorite one in your entire it, collection. Dead trap jaw is just astounding. I think we, I we were it. just talking about it. Is it is? I think it is my favorite of the four horsemen. Oh, absolutely. Um, although, you know, he's got like that liquidy drool, and the same here with clawful. It's got it looks wet. With yes. It's just really cool. Absolutely. Um, I am missing triclops. Oh, okay. So if you're at, if you have triclops, hit up Mo2 Joe. I've had, you know how there's things that we watch on eBay, all the collectors and things like yep. that. There was one I just missed that I will be, I'm, I'm a little remorseful for. Oh, really? Yeah, some regrets. It, it went really, 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 not cheap, but yep. really low comparatively. So, gotcha. And all that did is reinforce that I'm going to be patient and wait because there'll be another one at that price point at some point. Absolutely. Um, one thing I wanted to, to touch on, because I love sharing people's art and passion and something that I've talked about many times um, when we've interacted in the prior videos is your company Retro Rag T-shirts. Because uh, yeah. um, yeah. people constantly are like, where'd you get that shirt? You know, they'll put in the comments and many of my shirts come from yeah. you and yeah. the artists that you collaborate with. So is there any way you can kind of take me yeah. through a behind the scenes, sneak sure. peeks through it? Yeah, awesome. most, most of the artists that we do is, uh, we'll show you the, the patches and the things that we do with our patches for they're vintage patches authentic to the time period, so you can get those put on um, polos, hats, yep. beanies, whatever it may be. Um, but the t-shirt designs are actually like that there. What's is, this one called? Is Eternal Cat, and that was done by Ken Coleman out of the UK, yep. which led to a, us working together to do a series of Eternal That's Panther nice. then, and then Eternal Lion. And so there's three that came out of that one. Yep. And then this one is uh, from Emil Wickman, oh, which yes. is Motu One Kids, of uh, his kind of little line that he did, and um, this one's called Winter Ambush. Awesome. But Emil has also contributed, um, uh, or, I always say his name wrong, it's it's Web Store's name, which is er, uh, erroneous, Arania, it's not erroneous, <laughs> it's, it's like Arachnid, but it's like Aranus or something like that. Um, I, we do this for, for licensing because this is all of us that we all the stuff that we do at Retro Rags Limited is fan art. So yep. that's something that I want to be. I don't hide it. We're fan art. So we're just big, big fans of these officially licensed products and lines, and it's our own twist or unique uh, spin on it. So yep. Yep. Um, uh, outside of that, he's also done. Um, oh, we just got Jawbreaker. Oh my gosh. Speaking of trap jaws, yeah, I want to see that. So, I haven't seen that yet. It's not. It's it's online. You can check it out at retroregslimited.com. Um, they're available, but that's part of the process. You said behind the scenes is we've switched to more of a truly, truly on demand. So yeah. I don't. We'll bring it out to the back shop, but I don't have to sit on the inventory oh, like that as much God. anymore. So it is made on demand when someone wants it, and um, it's drop shipped. So nice. It makes it very, very easy. Uh, typically within two weeks of when you hit the order button, you have the item back in your, on your doorstep. Yeah. And, and, a lot and of there's a uh, link in the description, Retro Rags TL, I'll even put a little thing right here. Retro Rags, it won't be clickable, but um, definitely check it out. And I'm gonna show, make a little slideshow while we're talking of all the different designs. And it's not just Motu, other um, yeah. like G.I. Joe and, and pop culture things that we love as uh, toy collectors. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go out there, take a quick break, and stay with us. Bye. All right, Motu Joe. I had to sign a some some legal documents, but he's letting us into his workshop. It's similar to Santa's workshop, but a little bit different. So let's see what's going on with Retro Rags Limited. I, I want to talk about his uh, shirt company. It's amazing. Hey, it's Justice. Police, open up! Search warrant! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Hey! Hey, Titus! Hey, Titus! How are you? Titus after Megator yeah, and Titus. Just Titus! Like the giants! That's it! Look how big he He's like a, a horse that can just ride him! Hey, buddy! <laughs> That's cool. So, yeah, let's uh, let's check it out. I told him it's like the Keebler Elves in here. So, yeah, it is. It's like the. 
So this is uh this is the what I call the retro shack. Oh. So this wow. is a little extension that we added on. We had a, uh, a back garage here at the house, so retro rags was taking up a lot of space. Yep. And we wanted I wanted to have some breathing room, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So I did this. I added it on. Um, get some basic insulation, but basically, I can now have this space to do retro rags. Yes. Um, and more or less have space to keep the inventory. Uh, we don't keep a ton of inventory now with the current model because we'll um, we'll drop ship a lot of things. Um, what's drop ship? So drop ship. Well, let's 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 give you an example. So when we first started out, when we started doing this, um, we started off with the pre-order model. So hey, we want to sell at least 25 shirts in the pre-order model, and um, ideally those 25 help cover the costs, and we have a few that we could then sell yep. and then actually make money because there's not a lot of margins in t-shirts, right? right? So what we did is we made some of these designs. So this was one of the first ones, which is Battle Damage Good. Um, uh, you can get it in one strike or two strike. And oh, just like the Battle Damage He-Man. Correct. Where, you know, you'd hit it and yep. it would spin, spin and then and one strike, two strikes. Awesome. Right. And then we did some other designs um, like Eternal Panther. Oh, that's just like my shirt. Just like your shirt. Yeah, just like the shirt yeah, you had me, on. Let me see if people can see half and half here. So you can All see right. here that like inside the mouth then is, is Snake, Snake Mountain. Mountain. Just, like, oh. just like on uh, Eternal Cat. I is forgot Castle about Grayskull. that one, yes. Uh, what about that other one with the, the this, blue one on the bottom left? This one left? here is Breakfast Club. It's not He-Man related, but it's a, a mashup between <laughs> the Breakfast Club. <laughs> yes. And we do, we, we're, not, we're not exclusively He-Man on Retro Rags. Obviously it's a personal play, I love it, but we do anything pop culture related. Yes. So, that being said, um, we'll uh, we'll talk about something. So the t-shirts, continue with the t-shirt idea. So we did the t-shirts, and we had other designs, even like uh, I'll just grab it up. Even like Fleetor here, which is obviously a play off of um, Skeetor. Uh, Skeetor, right? Well, it's it's tough to have all of this inventory sitting here. So you see a lot of these different companies that are doing it, even the big ones where they just basically make it on demand. Yeah. And that's what we do now. So oh, nice. I make the things on demand. We use uh, direct to garment printing. Uh, as opposed to silk screen, we do silk screen when we have a certain level of threshold of pre-orders. Mm -hmm. um, but I did a lot of homework, yeah. did a lot of research to make sure that I'm not just using, getting really to the weeds with the technical stuff here. But direct to garment printing has a big scope and range of really poor to really good quality, mm -hmm. and uh, it, our shirts aren't the least expensive to me. To yep. you guys, it's the same price for virtually everywhere. But my margins are small yep. because I want to make sure the quality was there. If I'm not going to sit on the inventory. I got to make sure what I give you is very good when you get it, and it's the th so I pay higher prices to have the better inks, the better printers, to make sure that it stays. Because oh, a lot cool. of times, direct to print garments wear very easily, and yep. they wash. Once you wash them, direct to garment. This is dorking out here, but direct to garment use water-based inks. Mm. Water's water. Well, how how you do that? And you can't use poly fabrics more than that because poly repels water, right? So it's we were really technical, but we did a lot of homework to make sure that what we make and what we provide will last, and it can go through the wash, and it can be durable, just like a silk screen. In, in the layman's term of what he just described, <laughs> his shirts are better than other people's shirts. I try. Um. I, we try to. And again, a full transparency though, a silk screen shirt is like a silk screen shirt's a ten. Uh, direct to garment will probably be like a nine. Yeah. Okay, in durability, so just full full transparency. We want to make sure everyone knows. So, but. But what? Wait, there's more. There's more. It's not just the silk screen. Really, how we started was the hoodies. Yes, in, in which I own. I yes, today. is is bringing things to life. So this is actually one of our designs, but this is actually sublimation printed. So if you had an image or um, a, a photograph some, of my kid or something, a kid. Yeah, it could even be the old the old band. Like you were at a Motley Crue concert and you lost oh, that tour shirt. It's yeah. just destroyed. I don't have, but you find the image. Yeah. If you can send us the image, we can sublimation print this mm. and bring it back to life. Or you can send us your old T-shirts and we bring them back to life. Ah. Or what you see These are here. the patches that we talked about. These are vintage These patches. Are vintage, authentic to the time period, '80s patches, and um, we have I think six of them available. Oh, Look at that. That's neat. And. <gasps> As a, as a, just to give you guys an idea, this is one of the bins that we have. Of Coming on. patches. So, like Look. this is, this is Thundercats. This entire. Hundreds. Hundreds. Thundercats. And Mad Balls, which is a hot commodity yeah. as well. Look at. Yes. 
And you got Wonder Oval. Woman right there. Skeletors, Skeletors right here. Um, Snorkels. Snorks, yeah, Snorks. snorks. <laughs> uh, we do have uh, only a few new patches. We try to have everything vintage. Mm -hmm. uh, this is new. This yep. is a reproduction, so that's new. Yep. Um, this is not, but it is. So this is from the late 90s, so okay. it's questionable. Yeah. Everything else, though, <laughs> in our inventory is vintage. And you I mean, can go on have... your site and build things. Yeah. Like in, Michael in, Jackson, even. Oh, my gosh. And say, because I've been on your site several times, and you can pick through all the patches. There's pictures of the patches that he has available, and you can click on them, drag them to his hoodie, put them if you want them on your the sleeve, the back, the lower part, yep. and, and basically or, make or, a custom or beanies. Yeah, there's like these are brand new, brand new inside stock. out beanies. Yep, they're inside out because they're meant to be full. Like the hat I have on now, yeah. mine's a pom pom. This is a regular style, but they're inside out because they're new stock. They're brand new, yeah, stock oh, beanies, but with a vintage. But that's patch a vintage on patch, authentic to the '80s. So Dude. you can get a brand new garment, durable nowadays with the vintage material. And I'm, and I'm even seeing a hat over there that I'm digging. Yeah. That's this, this similar one to one I see, have. I got a little aggressive with the rubbing and the heat, the heat process. Gotcha. So, so that's smeared. So this is my like demo. Okay. But yep. what we do is over here is the is just a basic heat press. Mm -hmm. So these have uh, adhesive on the back of them, and a lot of times what I'll actually do is I'll just go like this. Oh really? Just press it right up against it like this and hold it. Yup, yup, because it's hot enough on yeah. this portion of it that'll and heat up. The and form here, depending on the hat, if you have a structured hat, which means it's meant to be step kept vertical, mm -hmm. versus an unstructured hat, which is a little more play in it. Okay. Yup. This doesn't always isn't always conducive. To that. So again, it's very straightforward, but heat makes that stick. And then for certain garments like polos and other t-shirts. Yup. Um, we actually will go through and we'll embroider it too. So not only will we heat transfer it and make the, the adhesive stick to the garment, we'll doubly secure it and go through and actually put a stitch around it. Oh no! Nice. Not every hat can have that done yep. because of the nature of the way the hat is and the bill and the way this, that is. But all, all virtually all of our garments will have a double. Let me adhesive go back process. to this one on the back. The uh, the He Man and Skeletor from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yeah. man, I can't remember what he says. That Johnny Depp says in the because uh, it's Benicio del Toro, but the bats out there, bat yeah. country, we're in bat country, and they they have all the cartoon bats floating around, but that's that's super neat, and that's available as a t-shirt design, yep. um, and then you got your name right there, Motu Joe, dude, I'm, I'm loving it, I am really loving it. And that, that, that horde country design was actually done by, everything that we've done is either come loose idea from my head that I either drew on a rough sketch to share with somebody, or a designer, and I'm not a skilled artist. Like I have friends that help with that. Yes. What I do with the company is it's a rough share. It's not just me. So yes. the artists that contribute get paid out. So they live, what they contribute actually gets paid back to them. So, so a percentage of each shirt sold or yeah. hoodie or whatever. whatever they purchase. So now with the current setup, the old setup was is we make the shirts and that's it and it runs. But now you can have it as a t-shirt, a v-neck, a ladies, a three-quarter sleeve, a hoodie, a pullover hoodie, what kind of whatever colors. you want, all different colors, different colors. Yeah. and now it really opens the door for a lot of different varieties. So, yeah, um, those all, all those designs are available on there. But like Jesse Shackelford had done this, he got really busy with some other projects and could continue doing other designs. He'll yeah. still contribute, but I had some ideas, so I yeah. said, well, can I aim one with your Ford Country idea? Mm -hmm. And from that, we have we now created Cobra Country. Yeah, so fairness. Fairness and that. Cobra Commander. Yeah. And instead of the horde bats flying, it's Cobra Claws right. flying. Uh, and there are two more that are coming out. We have um, Mask. Mm -hmm. So it's Miles Mayhem and Matt Tracker driving in Boulder Hills in the background. Ooh. More than likely, it'll probably be us, um, Condor, yeah. right? The, right? The green motorcycle. Yes. Uh, in the background, flying in the background. And then we're also doing, uh, again, the thing with the whole Horde Country theme and montage is a Transformers one where it's uh, Megatron and Bumblebee yeah. in the car. And the background is all like 83 dimensional um, rock mountains. Like it's, you know, so yeah, it's, it's, I know it's, what you're talking about. So now, now like, if someone's at home and they're like, hey, I'm a graphic designer and I love, uh, you know, if they're skillful or they know someone that does this kind of pop culture 
the yeah. same stuff that we're into this 80s nostalgia type things yeah. like He Man Mask, Transformers, other lines. I mean, Battlestar can, Galactica. Can I mean, they reach anything. out to you? Absolutely. It, Absolutely. So, Mo to Joe on Facebook and say, hey, shoot a few pictures of their designs yeah. or their friends' designs. Yeah. And I mean, that's the way to it's, get plugged in. It's it's a starting point. I am no by no means am I claiming to be like a like a, a massive T public or a T shirt hot or these guys are. My model is a similar model to where I rep shirt, just like they, the big dogs do, except I am much more concentrated, much more centric, smaller fish in a big sea. So uh, trying to grow, and over time, our community, I kind of referred to it earlier, has really kind of helped that, and yeah. you start to see and feel that a little bit more. And um, it's definitely not where I want it to be, but, but it is has to start somewhere. Right. It was growing, yes. and I'm not just dis dis discouraged. The first couple months was really tough of and course. beat me up a little bit, but that's yeah. a couple years ago. Now I'm kind of see the path, I see the trajectory, see where we're going, right. and it's very positive. And um, but if you do have designs, that's kind of the key, right? So this is not a one man show. It is kind of a one man show, meaning that you're in my shop. This is it. <laughs> but what we do, a lot of the stuff and the work that I do, is because of the designers' help and exactly. what, they, what they help contribute, and I get that. So they get a portion of all the net sales as well. Oh, yeah. On top of the, the, you know, we still donate to. Are now playing, which is a local charity here that helps give the underprivileged youth of our, what I'm from, we're from West Michigan, helps the West Michigan area and some of the impoverished children experience pop culture events, oh, nice. which is very centric to what we do here. Yeah, so I thought it was very appropriate. So they get to go see like the Nutcracker, which is, you know, or they'll get to go see Avengers uh, Affinity War when it comes out in the theater. Like they'll buy the whole theater and take the whole kids out there. Oh, so, that's what the the ten percent of what we do of our net goes to that as well, Perfect. and we again, it's all it's it is community driven. It is something that's fun. It's a passion play that I love to do. Yep. Hopefully, and I, again, I'm really transparent about it. That if you can take your passions and you turn it into a paycheck, right? You never work again. <laughs> that's a great saying, man. And it's and it's not meant to sound like oh he's gonna put them. No, I mean it literally. I don't ever work. Mm -hmm. My father-in-law did TV video for years. That was his thing. He never thought of it going to work. He loved it. Absolutely. He was sitting there on computers, oh, yeah. still swapping his technology cameras and all that. He loved it. And right. this is the same thing. And your shop has other toys, you know, around yeah. here, and um, you know, naked mannequins for you to stare right. at. So, right. So this, I'll censor this out later. This is for the, you know, when we do shows and stuff like that. So we have some displays for our, our gear. Yeah, because you've set up at different shows such as PowerCon, the the Masters of Universe, yep. um, Comic Con that's put out in um, August. Yeah. August. We'll be there again this year. California. In yep. It's yep. in California. Location is yet to be determined. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it, but it is in California. We know that much. And the dates are, I think, the 17th and 18th of oh, 2019. Perfect. Yep. So um, I'll be out there for that one. We've done the Grand Rapids Comic Con uh, once. We've done a couple smaller shows. Um, with me being a huge He Man fan. And 80% of what I have currently on the site being somewhat focused on He-Man. Right. That's it, was a, it, was, it was a good natural fit. Right. But that won't be where we'll only be yeah. as we grow. As we grow, we'll start to be in a few other shows. Of course. Um, it's an evolution. Yep. Yep. So. No, that, that's awesome. No, I, I appreciate you letting me in yeah. and kind of behind the scenes. Yeah. And, and granted, I, I've been already, as you've already seen, putting in various designs of t-shirts that he has available right now. So just check it out. I mean, go over to, what is it? RetroRagsLimited.com. Retro yep. RetroRagsLimited.com or RetroRagsLTD.com for those, you know, short and limited. We have both of them. And you have you a Facebook can, page as well. Facebook page. We are on Instagram. Um, and you can also just look up Motu Joe. Yeah. This is kind of a, this is kind of an interesting thing. I, I, I someone asked, I, I do digital marketing and advertising professionally uh, yeah. for certain things. And one of the things that I've people ask and it's a weird query is as if you do, you do you look up yourself I'm like I've never really looked up myself so <laughs> not, not 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 <laughs> since I first got the internet in 96 yeah, I'm like yeah. oh let's see hey. oh there's nothing right? so <laughs> I looked up my legal name yeah ain't nothing right. like there's a few doctors that have my name a yeah. couple guys they're like nowhere mm. which is kind of bizarre I played college football I've been in this market a while it's not I have well, business profiles of but course it really doesn't show up right uh -huh. I typed in Motu Joe Three pages. No, three pages. So, what? Just search Go to Joe, I guess, and yeah, you'll you find you'll find Retro Eggs Limited. If you can't remember Retro Eggs Limited, I was blown away. So, we talked earlier behind the scenes, off camera, yep. on our personal lives a little bit on, uh, you know, like Retro Rags and Motu Joe and things of that nature. And 
Um, I'm going to figure out how to bleed and melt you Joe into Retromax a little oh, bit more. So yes, yes. That's, that's what we're going to work on and have some fun. Again, it's it's having the passions and the fun that lead into uh, the, these these other things. So. Oh, I, I totally agree. Um, so I wish you the best of luck. You know, I'll be right there hand in hand with you during this whole adventure. Yeah. Because thank God we, we don't live too far apart. No. Um, no. And 40, 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. So it's great that we get to hang and out. And it's funny because for probably... You're much more YouTube driven. I tend to be more Facebook driven. Mm -hmm. It's funny because for probably every three or four videos that you get mentioned or something in or something, I'm finding that, hey, I saw this video of Justice Curry and Motu Joe, or hey, hey, I saw your video, Motu Joe, where Justice was over. You're yes. Like, like the two of us are like 40 minutes apart. It's kind of bizarre, but you have your own little thing yeah. that you do, and my own kind of little thing. They're yeah. the same, mm -hmm. but different, Just and they're, niches. they're the, the similar different things. I, I've probably had, my point in saying is, I probably had you know, maybe half a dozen, maybe maybe a dozen or so people you know reach out specifically mentioning you Seeing and I. The video, yeah, you, you, you and I specifically, of course, like in, yeah. in these videos. So I think oh, yeah. it's same it's, here, same here. It's yeah. it's funny. So and and that's what I like. I like sharing, um, you know, my passion. Oh, I got my arm. I need to work out some more. I'm like holding this camera. It's, it's and the camera. Only, it's only like three ounces. No, this camera that you're watching on is about this big right here. So I'm always holding this giant football size camera. Yes, yeah, so you're wearing a Sony XD camera. <laughs> yes. But it's it's awesome. And showing you his collection as we I just did, I told him after, you know, we, we wrapped it, we cut. And I go, this is awesome. I'm finding things that I didn't notice before. We're talking toys. It gives us an excuse to, to hang out and then share our friendship, our love of toys with yeah. essentially the world. It, it does kind of work out to, to that. You know, we've had we've had some some I guess more serious conversations too. And I'm like, would, we, we, would you be doing this if it was just you watching it? And you know, I think some of the times the answer is no. But in some cases, like this, or in some of the other instances, it's yeah. I don't give a, yeah. so I don't give a shit if no one watches the video. I'm like, right. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. If it's cool, it's cool. And it, it gave me something, mm -hmm. and that's cool. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's not always doesn't always have to have that. That you know, I don't care about ten thousand people seeing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. more or less. So that's kind of. So yeah, it's fun. It's I definitely get it. good. Yep, yep. All right. So make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button. Go in my description. I'll have a link to Retro Rags Limited. Stay part of the adventure. Be safe. Take care. I love you all. Bye-bye. Shirts. Get right here. Hey, guys. Justice Curry here. I have children, so they're going to... I only have a few precious seconds. What I want to talk to you is these amazing Justice Curry shirts. Yes. Available in all sizes shapes, colors. My buddy uh, Motu Joe has a website called Retro Rags Limited. Um, he put these shirts on there. Why they're special is because I like them. They're awesome. It's low light riding battle cat, but 100% of the proceeds go to charity. I don't make a dime. He don't make a dime. I just thought it was a cool thing and a way to plug his website, which has also amazing, amazing shirts like the one I'm wearing now. Uh, a lot of He-Man, G.I. Joe designs. He'll take vintage patches, put them on hats. You name it, he's there. So check out my description. Uh, there's a link to it. Retro Rags Limited. Take care, guys. Love y'all. It's, it's, it's jokingly, yeah, it's kind of, it's getting close to that. Uh, it's not where... I haven't figured the solution out yet. That's the <laughs> truth, is I haven't figured out the solution yet because what's off camera, which at some point I'm sure we'll spin it around, you can see is I think there's probably 20 or so items that I, I haven't opened, haven't opened yet, yet that I have to try to figure out where to put. I mean, you know, having the, the again, having a bicycle in here takes up space. I still need the Battle Cat Bouncer. Oh, there's yes. another bicycle and there's a tricycle. Tricycle. So, I mean, I got some problems. These are first, <laughs> first world, world problems. Problem. First world problems. Seriously, first world problems. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I got some, uh, you'll figure it out. I'll figure um, it out. I'm sure your wife will let you bring some of this stuff in your bedroom and display it in there. She's I've, cool like that, I, right? I, I have a few few figures up by the <laughs> He does. There's he a does. couple 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 things. But um I do wanna I did ask. I did ask about the the subway. Right here is a subway poster from Europe for the uh Hira uh, he meant your uh, subway movie. fresh well. Wow. So it's uh you know it's 
I, I mean, I, I, there's a picture of me holding it where it's it's literally I disappear and I'm six six four six five, so it's yeah. it's massive. But because of, of of the plastic crack documentary and getting a little sneak peek of that, seeing the Star Wars guy's house and walking down the stairwell oh, of um, what's his name? Josh. Josh. Yes. Yeah. Walking down his stairwell, I'm like wall space. Oh, wall yes. space is a stairwell. Perfect. Solution. And it just so happens that there's a big enough space that that could fit. Uh, that might be the first He-Man piece to liter to legitimately exit. bleed out of the downstairs dungeon area into the real home. So, and, and I'll be here in another three years, and then every square inch of the home from his kitchen to his bathroom will be covered in Motu. So, 